I, I think we beat a very good team today. And, um, you know, obviously their defense is, is really tough to play against. And I, I love to see how we came out the second half. And we shot 33% of the half and came out second half and just were aggressive offensively and it worked out for us. Well, and talk about aggressiveness defensively. Once once the full court press got on the Trojans, it really seemed to throw them out of the game. Right about from the 15 minute mark in the first half and that full court defense came on, it seemed to be two lanes game. Well, I, I do think that really helped us. You know, I wasn't sure that we were going to do that, but I felt like that at least kept them out of rhythm. And, um, you know, trying to make people handle the ball, bringing them out and handle the ball. Um, and getting them away from the basket. But they're, they're a good team. I think they're really athletic. You know, we zoomed up the whole game because we just felt like they run their man uh, offenses very, very well. And, um, you know, I, I'm just really proud of our team. I thought that was a very physical game, um, yeah, very aggressive it. game, and uh, we stayed with it. And I, I think sometimes in years past when they were really aggressive, we didn't play as well. And I thought today we just really answered the call. Did, did it feel like, like once your team realized this is going to be a physical sort of, sort of like a boxing match? Well, you know, we tried to prepare them. We had a couple of days to prepare. We tried to prepare them, but, it, but it's just no, there's no preparation that really gets you ready for that. And, you know, uh, again, just the rebounds and things like that and just being really aggressive. You know, we, we had 11 turnovers in half and ended with 19. So, you know, really did a much better job of taking care of the ball in the second half. I think that's really key against them is not to give them a lot of easy baskets, and we didn't do that tonight. she had the touch. Well, you know, with Leslie, it was a matter of time because she she is such a good shooter and uh, such a great offensive player. And she struggled a little bit in these first few games. And, uh, you know, I'm really happy we were able to survive those because she was such a key part of our offense last year. And it was good to see her in rhythm today, confident, you know, taking those shots. And, and in the first half, I mean, we didn't have Leslie. I think we'd have been out. We'd have kind of been blown out. But did a tremendous job, and, and um, I'm glad to see her back confident. Okay, so now the team gets 12 days until the next game. I know the next week is going to be uh, awfully important because it's finals week. So right. with 12 games until 12 days until the next game, your holiday tournament, how do you how do you go about planning and how much time does, does the team get for all their 12 attendees? Well, I guess the advantage I've been at Tulane for 21 years, so I know how stressed they are at this time. And um, you know, we, we're going to do a lot of individual work with them, and some of the things. There's a lot of things we need to improve on, and the nice thing is, is this is the time we can really fix it. Um, so we're, we're going to do those things. We're going to work on our conditioning a little bit, um, and you know, it, it's one of those that once they get through exams, I think I have a new team. They're they're kind of loose, and they, they sometimes they play better when exams are over. So some of the pressure of exams exactly. are off. We've got some nagging injuries right now, and the nice thing is we got a little time for them to get ready to so get better too. So it's a uh, it's a good time. We need a little break, and um, you know, we've got a tough tough schedule after exams. So we better be ready to, to step up. It was a pleasure watching your team today.